let us look at the future of industrial automation. With the PLC over 15 years in existence and PLC open over 30 years, we know how dramatic the changes were over that period. And with innovation accelerating at an ever-increasing pace, what do we see for the future? My name is Ilko van der Wall and I'm the Managing Director of the organization PLC Open. I would like to share my vision with you. I have no glass bowl, so there is uncertainty. So this is more food for thought. As PLC Open is the leading worldwide association for topics related to industrial control programming, we always need to look ahead to be prepared for the future and even steer it. Of course, the future is so wide that we need to pick a few subjects that we think will have the most impact on our market and especially those related to real-time control. If it's not in the loop, it will not be in this presentation. First, we all face a lot of big problems to solve. Many of them are worldwide, like climate change, ecological and biological changes, clean water, food for everybody, access to education, poverty. And in some areas we have an aging society and so a demographic problem. Part of the solution to this is via technology. And this will be a driving force for the industrial automation market. For instance, farming can be done in a more automatic way with micro crop control on a large scale, decreasing the need of fertilizer and creating very effective local optimization. What are the new technologies which will help us and how? Probably the best known is AI, artificial intelligence. For our world, AI can optimize the operation of industrial processes by analyzing data and making adjustments in real time to improve efficiency, reduce waste and enhance overall performance. The aspect of real time is important, so we do a limited AI model, making it very useful in all kinds of applications, like contours in motion control with and without handling loads. This goes beyond what we can program now. I would like to call this embedded AI, as it is preferably in the controller itself. It will have a massive impact on programming. Talking about programming, AI can assist here by generating code, testing and troubleshooting, and optimizing control strategies, reducing the time and effort required. And this is needed as the demographics in parts of the world will provide us with a smaller workforce, so the software tools must become even more efficient to cope with this. While AI has the potential to bring about these significant improvements, it also poses challenges. Challenges such as the need for data security, workforce upskilling, and the integration of AI technologies into existing systems, leading to embedded AI. Nonetheless, the integration of AI in industrial automation has the potential to more efficient, cost-effective and environmentally friendly industrial processes in the future. Another area that will have a big impact are vision systems. Since the Amazon bin picking challenge, a new level of systems are created, especially combined with AI and deep learning algorithms, allowing for more complex and context-aware image analysis and decision-making. This makes the systems more flexible in recognizing products, product orientation and product material. Also, it can enhance the quality control process by identifying defects in real time, thus reducing the number of defective products and improving quality and efficiency. Combine vision systems with robots and cobots and it becomes clear that improved vision systems can recognize and classify objects in real time making them valuable in applications like automated sorting and inventory management. 
The combination will become a standard function in most machines, making them much more flexible and adaptable. Vision is the basis to create autonomous mobile robots, where they will play a crucial role in detecting and avoiding obstacles, increasing safety in dynamic environments. This is the basis for new, flexible production lines, even distributed over the plant. On the other hand, low-cost vision systems will be used more and more as a normal sensor for product detection, level detection and flow, providing more flexibility and adaptability in its function. The development of vision systems also comes with challenges, such as data privacy concerns, algorithm bias and ethical issues related to surveillance and image manipulation. The robots and cobots themselves will definitely be easier to program and reprogram and adapted to different tasks and processes, making them usable in much more applications as well as in flexible and agile production lines, making change over faster. And as such, they will not only replace repetitive tasks, but finally also the hard and dangerous workmanship like mining, working with heavy loads and distribution. What has moved to the front line of industrial automation is communication. This will advance to the level of information exchange coupled to profiles and information models. With this, we know upfront where we are talking about and can combine items out of the box, simplifying the development and reducing errors as well as the cost of development and maintenance. Such standardized communication protocols and interfaces enable different devices, systems and components to work together seamlessly. In industrial automation, this interoperability is crucial as it allows various equipment and control systems from different manufacturers to communicate and collaborate effectively. Working with standardized systems also reduce training costs for personnel, while keeping systems scalable and cost-effective. Will this become the end of the field bus wars? I sincerely hope so. Let's work on standardization here and not start a war on information models and profiles, because standardization encourages innovation by enabling companies to focus on developing new and improved components rather than inventing new communication protocols. Of course, this all needs hardware. If we look back in history, we see the change from large automation modules that can be combined to become a system in a rack to smaller and cheaper systems, as well as the soft PLC, making the PLC more a software task which can run on any open platform, especially a PC. In the future, we see the addition of virtual PLCs running in a virtualized container, coupled to a standardized network making it very flexible, scalable and controllable with easy to use IT tools for version controls and updates. Thus IT is entering our OT world, operation technology, as it is nowadays called. So every CPU core is potentially one or more PLCs, stressing the software factor of this control task. With this, logic, motion and even safety can be divided distributed and scaled over standardized systems. Some people think that this even can be done in the cloud, but I'm skeptical about the vulnerability of these implementations. Overall, with all the uncertainties related to the future, one thing is sure, the future is software-based. Let's make this future together.